In this lesson, we are going to learn about the concept of heat and temperature in the steel making process. In our daily life, steel is a very useful metal. Things made of steel are widely used at home, in school, or in the The steel industry plays a significant role in the economy and the employment sector of the nation. There are two common methods of steel making. The traditional method using blast furnace, the modern method using an electric arc furnace. The traditional method of steel making is known as basic oxygen steel making or BOS. BOS makes steel from blast furnace iron and small amounts of scrap metal. Another type of steel making is by using the electric arc furnace or EAF. In this method, an electrically heated furnace makes steel from scrap metal only. An electric arc furnace, EAF, is used to produce new steel from scrap metal. If scrap steel is readily available, this method is lower cost than the traditional blast furnace method of making steel and it conserves raw materials like iron ore, coke and fluxes. Iron from other sources can also be used as feed for the EAF. The four main stages of steel making are charging, melting, blowing with oxygen, tapping, the furnace is charged with about 86% scrap steel and 14% iron. A crane lifts the scrap bucket and empties its load of 85 tons into the open furnace. Power is supplied to the furnace through the electrodes. The electrodes are placed in the furnace and when the power is applied, it produces an arc of electricity from the electrode to the scrap steel. The arc is similar to a lightning bolt striking the ground and produces 35 million watts of electricity. The energy from the arc raises the temperature to 1,600 degrees Celsius, melting the scrap. Sometimes substances like carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen and fluxes need to be added to the melt to remove small amounts of impurity in the scrap. During melting process, oxygen is also blown into the electric arc furnace to purify the steel. After about 80 minutes, the molten steel is tapped into a ladle and transferred to the ladle furnace. In the ladle furnace, more refining is done and the steel can be processed to form alloys in the same way as the For bulk steel manufacturing, an electric arc furnace is used as an alternative method for blast furnace. It also consumes much less energy than the blast furnace. An electric arc furnace is a kettle-shaped structure with a removable lid. Click on the parts to know more about it.
Let us take a look at what happens inside an electric arc furnace. Select from the various temperatures and click on the start button to observe the animation of the atomic particle. At room temperature, the molecules of a solid are fixed in a lattice position. The molecules are vibrating normally. When the solid steel is heated at high temperatures, at 1450 degrees Celsius, the steel starts to melt. As a result, the molecules vibrate more and move away from the lattice arrangement by breaking their bonds with them. At very high temperatures, at 3000 degrees Celsius, the liquid molecules will break free and form a gas. As a result, the molten liquid will boil. At 1500 degrees Celsius, the molten steel is much hotter than the surroundings. Hence, there will be a heat transfer to the surroundings. Heat transfer occurs in three ways. They are conduction, convection, and radiation. For bulk manufacturing of steel, electric arc furnace is used. The four main stages of steel making in an electric arc furnace are charging, melting, blowing with oxygen, and tapping.